Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Love Locks, and welcome back to Telling Lies. Wow. That last scene that we saw at the end of the last episode. So we found out that um, Michelle's name is actually Maxine Williams, or Max for short. And she doesn't have a husband. We found out at the beginning of the clip. And that uh, David tried to confront her about her extorting him over the tapes of him, you know, talking to her and everything. And she shot him and then had the police come and uh, tried to explain that he like broke in or something, which I mean, she recorded the whole thing. So probably not the smartest thing to do in retrospect. If she was going to record it, she probably should have acted like he was breaking in or something, because now there's evidence that she's lying about that. So the question is, where do we go from here? Um, I'd like to see what happens next in the story, but I also kind of want to find out what exactly led to this, like, change of dynamics in the relationship, because they seem to be kind of getting along okay, and then Maxine just wanted to be rid of him, right? So, but I'm not really sure what to search for to get that stuff. Um, but... Maybe to um, find out some more info on Max, we can just look up her name. Start there. See where it takes us. Ah, okay. So this is before... There's the video that we watched at the end of the last episode, and this is before, and then there's something... after, too. Interesting. Ooh, I'm excited! All right, let's do this. By the way, I did find something that might allow me to skip to the beginning of clips um, without having to rewind it. Um, let me know if you guys like the rewinding, because it I don't I don't look at the writing at the bottom. I just kind of look at what's going on in the scene. Let me know if you guys think it like adds to the the tension or like the anticipation, or if you guys would like me to try installing this thing that would let me skip to the beginning of clips. Like the other thing that I could just do is not skip to the beginning, but it's strange for me to just like see the one section that deals with the term that we search for. It, yeah, it, it just I like to see the context, right? So I like to see the clips from the beginning to the end. Still it is a baffling choice to me that they. I think the way that it should work is when you click on the clip on the left, like the full video, it should play it from the beginning. And if you clip click on the um, shortcuts on the right that have to do with the search term you use, it should show just from that term, but that's the way the game is, so whatever. I can see why they wanted it to be this way. It's like they wanted you to feel like you're combing through these videos. I was hoping you would come back. <laughs> like it. I'm wearing it all week. My regulars take the vampire thing. Vampire stories are a way to make rape fantasies more palatable. Which okay. works both ways. No, I am the victim. One of the vampire wives. It's human nature. What? You don't want to take a bite? Um, as government agents? So I guess this is after Davey. he told her. Do you mind if I call you Davy? Okay. Well, now they do. So Davy. <laughs> You are the least horny law enforcement agent guy I have ever come for. Cops are normally the most twisted. Well, I can tell I am good at my job. What? I questions again. You first. Tell me, 
how did you end up in such an uh, exciting job? Okay, sure, but it's deeper with you. You are no ordinary cop. What was the moment when you decided you want this? I bet you were young. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> Tell me. So I think if we want to find the other side of this, we search for vampire, maybe. That'd be a good one. Because I want to hear all this. Oh, okay. We have to wait. to just watch one side of the conversation trying to think about what he's saying but this is probably gonna when we hear his side it's probably gonna give some insight as to why he is the way he is and do you want it to be this guy It was? <laughs> you are good. Uh, well, I come from France, as you know, from Paris. She says Max in this, right? My father was a judge, a powerful man. Okay, so we heard a story after this. And. When I was in school, I was sleeping with a guy who was a criminal. This upset my family. They were worried about a scandal. So my father sent me to America to study. And this is where I met my husband. He worked in a bank, he made a lot of money. But he treated me badly. And so I told authorities about his insider trading. I divorced him while he was in prison. But now I had no money and I had no education, so... It's a... a man's world, Davy, but... Doing this, I get paid for it. And I can make men disappear. Like this. She thought. With the butt. Which is quite... something. Not all the guys are like you, Debbie. Yeah? I cross my heart. Oh, look. Oh, that's why. Here? Says Max. That was my first boyfriend. The criminal, he did the tattoo himself. It hurt a lot. He did not need his name on me. You do not trust me. It is kind of weird that she would tattoo her name. Are you going to be one of my regulars? In a place where people would see it. 
I guess it might have been before she started doing this. No. You just turn up, tip, big. Bye. Okay. Let's go back and let's check. Um... Hmm. Oh, and we haven't seen this, and this. This happens before the confrontation. But I wasn't really paying attention to the dates. This also, this. This isn't where she tells him the semi truth about her, right? Because we saw that clip. We saw that side of it. Um. I kind of want to see the other side of that conversation and then we'll go back. So what was the what was the thing that I was going to to look up? Shoot, I forgot now. Something that she said. That probably he also said. Ugh. I wish I had a better memory. Tell me. Oh yeah, vampire, 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 vampire. Okay. Oh. What is this? 815. That looks like uh, Emma. Hold on, 1103. Okay, so that's the same. That's the other side of the clip. But what is this? Yes, I'm a mind vampire. That's how I made all my money. Now, sh you are... No, you are Alex. You are a business competitor of mine. I lured you to my castle, and now I'm going to have my way with you. Wait, is that... Alex, are you sorry that you tried to mount an aggressive takeover of my business? Is that Emma? Mm, just terrible things. I'm gonna use you for my pleasure, and you only come when I say so. Whoa, hold on a second. No, take off your shirt. I don't think that's her, mm -hmm. is it? Mm, very nice. Now your pants. Oh, slowly, slowly. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Holy shit, it is her! Hey, sweetheart. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Come here. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry. It's been a while since I've seen her face. Is that Daddy? Yeah. Dad! Oh, hi. <laughs> What do you say? You want me to put you to bed? What? Can I sleep in bed with you? Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, come on, sweetheart. Under these covers. All right, I'm just going to go put my PJs on. Here we go. There you go. I had a nightmare about the tooth fairy. She was big and looked okay, like me. Okay, so it is day that she's talking to. One. It's just the way that um, Alba looked. It's like she didn't Here I come. recognize him. All right, say goodnight to Daddy. Daddy can sleep with us, can't he? Uh. <laughs> All right. 
close your eyes. There you go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder. There's no way she's falling asleep that fast. Just gonna play like this for like an hour. Wait, keeps going for the forty five seconds. We're just cannot fast forward it. Oh, there we go. I also don't think we caught the beginning of this. I guess David just wanted to watch them sleeping for a bit. Okay. Um, we'll check that out later. It was only, that was 55 seconds into it, so we probably didn't miss that much. Let's get back to, to the other side of the uh, previous video that we saw. Isn't there, oh no, that's when we looked at Max, there was another video afterwards, okay. It's nice that based on how they look, we can tell like where in the timeline it takes place wow. before he got nice beat up, probably. Halloween costume. Okay, I thought the vampires were women's fantasy. Oh, I see. So you bite the guys. Oh wow, that's dark. You know, people s start with these fantasies and then they escalate to acting them out in real life. You know, they could end up... Uh... <laughs> okay, touche. Yes, I do. Nobody calls me Davey. Except her. <laughs> How do you know they're not just saying they're cops? Yeah, you are. How did you get in there? How did you get in to this job? No, I already told you I come from a family of cops. So she's saying, why did you decide to become a special agent? Instead of just a regular cop, I think. Something like that. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was young. I was a teenager. My father took me to the station with him. I was ill or something and couldn't find anyone to cover for him. So he brought me with him and he put me in the fish tank. That's the waiting room for most of the day. And after a while, an officer comes in with a woman and she's tall and she has beautiful long hair. Okay. And she's a suspect or she's a victim, I don't know. She's crying, or she had been crying, or she's wearing a sexy black outfit with a big coat over her. Maybe somebody put the coat on her. Her makeup's running. She looks like something out of a movie, and I'm watching her. Well, I'm watching her over my Game Boy. Of course. But I don't want to take my eyes off of her. And then, after a few moments, a man walks in, black suit, tie, and this is summer, so everybody in the police station is sweaty and a mess. But he's pristine. Pristine. He's FBI. And he sits down and he talks with her and she cries on his shoulder and he is so solid and the look of relief and gratitude on her face and he takes her to the interview room and now she can't, she can't take her eyes off of him. Yeah. Yeah, I want to be that guy. Yeah. Okay, enough about me. Enough. I want to know about you. I want to know how you got into this job. And don't tell me this ballet story. I know it was a lie. Oh, ballet story. Stop. We haven't heard that yet. The Bolshoi Ballet never performed Giselle in Paris. I know this. I guess we can look at ballet. <laughs> we want to get the whole thing. Well, while she's telling her story, um, I did look up that achievement that I got, and it I got it for making it, it said, for making it to 2 a.m. So I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know if there's like a time limit on the game or something, because there was also one for one, making it to 1 a.m., but I didn't get have that achievement, but I made it to 2 a.m., so maybe it's finding a particular video or something that lets you, I don't know, that unlocks that. It wasn't clear. Making it to 2 a.m. Was there a video that happened at 2 a.m.? On a certain day, maybe? I'm gonna fast forward this. Um... No, I can't go. One. Oh, there we go. That's the real story, he said. Of course, we know that's bullshit, too. Wow. What did your husband think of that tattoo? And what prison was he sent to? Because you said he was arrested for a financial crime. I'm sorry, it's a force of habit. Do I need your permission? I'll do that. Bye. Was it, that was like something to do with uh, becoming a regular? Okay. Uh, so ballet, something we want to look up. But let's go back to Max. Here we go. This one here, 12.06 PM, 7.19. It's getting really hard to keep track of these dates. Like I'm just kind of going by how they look.
Yeah, you're looking pretty as always, Harry. Harry. I uh, need you to track. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, nobody's nobody's gonna get hurt, Harry. Okay. Okay. I mean, do I look like the kind of asshole who's gonna hurt a woman? It's really quiet. Okay, she lives in Cleveland, Ohio, and I have a photo that I'm gonna send you via signal. I think her name is Max, but what I need is an address. Can you do that? I was wondering if we were gonna figure out how he uh, tracked her down. Yeah. Okay. So I wonder if the other the guy in the last video might be Harry. Yeah. Harry. Hey, Harry. Hey, Harry. Harry, just make sure no flags raised, okay? <laughs> okay. I have a feeling this is gonna be Harry. So this is mm, a few months after this. Different music. Miller, the package you mentioned. Miller. Yeah, I've got to ask, what are you going to do with this? <laughs> I know that you're cool, and I know that you pay and that you're reliable, but I do not want the heat blowing back on me if this thing goes wrong. I, it better not. Sure. Sure, I trust you. I trust you, David. I trust you. My guy, I found your Max. He said that she showed up in a police report. Next day, that report disappeared. David made it disappear? I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. I've got a wife, David. Yeah, I've got a daughter. Whoa, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's try to find the other side of this conversation. Cleveland. Maybe we can look up Cleveland? Seven twenty eight. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that the same? Okay, seven twenty eight, seven thirty two PM. No. So it's about four days after this. And he's talking with, uh, what was his name? Oh, shoot. Mike? I think this is Mike. I'm not supposed to be talking to you, not like this. You know, if you want to talk, we can have another conversation on what the hell happened in Cleveland. And you can feed me a line again, and I can explain to you how much it personally hurt me to have to clean this mess up. Okay. So Mike took care of it for him, I guess. The report, probably. You're loyal. I haven't given up on David. Knife can lose its edge, but it can be sharpened again. Loyal. They all walked. Act blindly. We could have kept him. We chose the go. We'll all assume he gave up information and walk. He's going to have this stink of collaboration on him. Oh, okay. So maybe we're not talking about the situation with Max here. We might be talking about the other thing that David was involved in. <laughs> One of several messes. Let me go back there. They all walked. They walked. We 
act blindly. We could have kept him. We chose the Dark Guard. We'll all assume he gave up information to walk. He's going to have this stink of collaboration on him. So Eric was... Shit. Is that one of... Is that one of um, Ava's friends? I think I think so. Much I can't remember which one though. So many names. And no one's gonna go looking for David Jones. Not bad with David Smith back. David Smith. <laughs> okay. You know how to make a really good knife? They heat and they cool the metal several times over and it distorts and it warps and then they hammer it and grind it and polish it. And only at the very end does the perfect knife emerge. The forging process, it actually rearranges the atoms of the steel, it makes it stronger. You can come out of this stronger, David. There's a myth that Handsmith knives are better, but actually these days the machine-made ones are far superior, and more reliable. Have a nice vacation, David. So, uh, he's not David Jones, he's David Smith, an equally generic, <laughs> equally generic name. I mean, I don't, uh, we could just go back to the, uh, like his mission, all the stuff with his with his operation. But maybe later. But where do we go from here? Um, let's look up. Did I look up Harry? Oh. This guy Harry ran it. Pulled pills up. Oh, he's using. Okay, he's using that name. Well, maybe it's the same guy. Two twenty eight, twenty eighteen. This is the point where, like, it would have paid off to, like, bookmark stuff and, like, really organize things, but, uh... Oh, right. I forgot I had some stuff unchecked. The views. So this is, uh, when we did the activity. I just noticed that. 623 2019. Oh, so it is time based. 251 a.m. Made it to 2 a.m. I wonder why I didn't get one for 1 a.m. then. Because I definitely. Maybe the achievements weren't activated or something. Okay. I think the search term is kind of what I'm more interested in. 228. Okay, let's try this. Well. Well, hello, Harry. Long time. It's a little beat up still. Yeah, well, I've been away on a desert island for the last month, went native, so. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, well, just don't pull your cock out on me, okay, Harry? So listen, um, I need goodies. Yeah, well, it's for a big rap party. I know you do. It's gonna be quite the party, so I'm looking at about um, half a pound of candy, half a pound of Diet Coke. Good. Tomorrow. Yeah, we'll, yeah, tomorrow. We're going out of town, so I need it by then. You look worried, Harry. You're starting to worry me. Fifty. So did you uh wait, you're not hiking your prices up on me though, right? Fifty, maybe we might be able to use that. Wait, look me in the eye? Look me in the eye. You hiking any prices up on me? So does he know that he's an agent? He must not. Yeah. No, look, hey man, it's not even about the price. I don't care about the price. I care about whether or not I can trust you or not. Okay, because I'd be, look, I'd be happy to pay 50. Let me just let that be known. You got it. Now, here's the deal. Okay, you're going to meet me tomorrow at our favorite restaurant. Okay, it's going to be one o'clock. My treat. 
Good. Wear something nice. Take that thing off, okay? Yeah. Well, now I want to know what he's wearing. Okay. Um, there's another one. Let's see if we can find this one, though. 50? Ah, there we go. We haven't seen that one yet either. Okay, well, let's watch the other side of that conversation first. So that is definitely Harry. So this was, I don't know if you guys remember, but way back at like the one of the first episodes when he was shooting the uh, shooting the gun at the arcade, he told the story about um, some guy that was in the movie industry, I think, like making horror films. Hey, David. I think this is who he's talking yeah. about. Yeah, I almost didn't recognize you with the beard. Well, it looks good on you. <laughs> Something to do with horror movies anyways. <laughs> I stopped uh, using this account for business a little while ago. I don't use it to chat with my kids and my hookups, so you are in very privileged company here. For one of your friends? That's good. Yeah, I like your movie money. It smells so clean, you know? <laughs> or he worked in the movies? What do you I don't know. Anyways, he's clearly a drug dealer. I can help you out with that. When do you need it? Tomorrow? Well, no, oh, man, I mean, that's just really short notice. It's just, no, no, it, uh, it's just, uh, I gotta pull it together. It's gonna be like 50 per. No, no. David, I'm not. Look, look, you know I'm not. I just, I, I can see what I can do, but I mean, can we, can we just at least call it 45? Like, okay. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. That's good. No, no. Okay. One o'clock. All right, I'll be there. Wear something nice. This doesn't look good to you? Go to hell, David Miller. David Miller! <laughs> Shit. Oh, we got Jones, Smith, and Miller. Perfect. Bloody perfect. Okay. Let's go back and watch these videos as well since we got them here and we haven't watched them yet. Oh my god. Now there's a whole. Now he's buying drugs. For some something, I don't know what. Jeez. 9 2017. He says Harry again. I mean. Could be could be in any kind of context. This looks like it's before he got beat up. This is looking like early on, you know, like when he first came to the apartment, because everything's there's still boxes around and stuff. Well, well, well. Yeah. Me, too. Stop moving the camera around, you're making me dizzy. <laughs> I can see that.
Oh, I have uh, I have books too because guess what I did? I unpacked. Hey yo! Check out the unpacking job. Look at that. Look at all the unpacking that happened. See that? Seriously? Okay. Let's do it. So, top book on the pile and open to a random page. Look like a brief history of time. Is that what? I saw time or history or brief. One of those words. Oh, history of America. <laughs> I saw history. They brought us parrots and cotton thread and bartered them for glass beads and little bells. They do not bear weapons, nor do they know them, for I showed them swords, and they took them by the edge and cut themselves through ignorance. They have no metal at all. Their spears are wooden with a fish's tooth at the end, and their bodies are well made with handsome faces. They are the color of the people of the Canaries, neither black nor white. They would be good servants. Uh, with 50 men, you could keep them all subjugated and make them do whatever you like. True history of America. Yikes. Yeah, well, you know, I'm still making my way through that one, so sorry. All right. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. You said take the top book off the pile. What's wrong with that one? Why not? You write and you sing. I mean, that's that's impressive. So he's talking to Ava here. I wasn't sure, but that's what I figured. I thought you said you didn't like to sing in front of people. Why wouldn't you tell me that you're in a rock band? I mean, that's kind of cool. Okay. So I'm just thinking back to his story that he told about seeing that 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 beautiful woman and the FBI agent calming her, right? And is that why he's like this? He's just like he wants to he wants to be like that guy, like he wants to connect with all these women and figure them out and make them feel comfortable and I don't know like I'm, I'm I'm guessing that's like the motivation behind all this why he's acting the way that he does it comes across as pretty creepy though Singing again, I guess. <laughs> Damn, Hollywood was intense back then, huh? You know, I've played this game before, but the rules were like whatever passage you read meant how good you were in bed. Or oh, she was reading something from a book she had. Okay. Yeah, I'm um, also, you know, I don't know, rebooting, you know, and I'm not in any hurry to do or say 
whatever. You know, I'm, it's unfortunate that I ran into you. You know, the first week I got here, because I'm still fine on my feet. I mean, not. I'm. I'm glad that I did. Okay, uh, we could try to find the other one, other side of that, but let's keep looking. Um, I'm curious. Um, there was 50. 50. Oh, right. I don't, I'm gonna get sidetracked again, though. I know it. What was it? She said, like, Hollywood. I, I was thinking, like, Hollywood might have been in the title of the book. Yeah, there we go. I should really try to stay like on topic, but I want to see all these clips. If I don't watch them when we get them, I might forget to go back and take a look later. So I think it's worth it. And you never know what kind of like interesting thing we'll see. But now I'm concerned about that. There's like some kind of time limit that we're working with here and that the game will just like stop after a certain period of time. We don't have forever. But uh, we'll find out, I guess. I'm just going to play it like I like I'd like to. I want to find out as much as I can. <laughs> Hi. I just wanted... Um, I think that I left a little abruptly tonight and I didn't want you to feel like you screwed up or anything. I mean, I, I had a nice time. I've seen your apartment. You want to see mine? Okay. It has more stuff than yours. I was going to say, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, we've got posters, all the jazz. Um, oh, I have a cactus. Just, just the one plant. Um, I've kept it alive for like a year now, and it's longer than like any relationship that I've ever had in my entire life. But the sex is not great. <laughs> uh, books. I have a lot of books. Um, oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you need shelves. Oh, here is a thing that we can do. Okay, grab the top book off of your pile and turn to a random page, and I'll do it too. And what you read tells you what kind of a person you are. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a silly game, but... Well, this is awkward, so I'm breaking the ice. Just do it, and then I'll stop being awkward. So he's going to read the uh, book. Curious to see what she reads. Columbus was a motherfucker. <laughs> Okay, my turn. <clears throat> oh, I'm not reading that. Well, it's not a proper book. It's where I write my lyrics. For my eyes only. Yeah, I used to sing in a band. I don't. Anyway, I got out of the habit. All right, moving on. <clears throat> you get memories of a golden age. My next break was starring alongside Jack Weissner in the popular Hercules serial. 
I played a mermaid who falls in love with the hero against her father's wishes. Swimming together on screen, we were the perfect couple, but the reality was a Hollywood nightmare. The water in the studio tanks was freezing and gave us all cramps. Then there was, uh, Jack. Jack didn't act the part of Hercules. He believed he was Hercules. All the women on Earth, mere mortals, created by the gods for his pleasure. After the show, he summoned me to his dressing room. Inside, he was stood, naked, posed like a classical sculpture. A shockingly well-endowed one. I ran, uh, and Hercules and his, <laughs> and his club chased me down the corridor like something out of a horror movie. Okay, that, that's a, an old library book. It falls at that part, so. Mm-hmm. I like reading about how people got famous. Because she wanted to be famous also. Yeah. I mean, that's the idea, but I didn't want to embarrass you. Just being ladylike. I had fun tonight. And listen, I don't want you to think that my Cinderella act, I just... Cinderella now? I'm in a place where I'm not really rushing anything like that right now. We got Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella. <laughs> Me too. I think I've made this awkward. Yeah. Good night. So they got together and she left abruptly. Not sure why. Be nice to see that. More Hollywood. Uh, okay. That I don't want to go that. I don't want to go down that that route yet. Oh, I could though. No, I wait. I got to get back. What what was I doing? Fifty. Okay, more about Maxine. Definitely, I want to see the Maxine scenes. Right. Hello, everybody. A big kiss for my regulars. Okay, house rules. So this is a regular Penis. broadcast, I guess. No porn gifs, no humiliation requests. It's gifs, not oh. gifs, first of all. And uh, <laughs> the tip menu and wish list is right there. And no recording the show. And that is it. Rules done. So, today I treated myself. I watched a movie and uh, got a pedicure and uh, if you want to treat yourself, I tell you all about it in private. <laughs> it was, uh, the movie was Lady Eve. It is my favorite movie. Barbara Stanwyck is a stone cold killer. You don't like black and white movies, so I, I ban you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's just picky. Download 55. I missed you too. Hi, Sandman Extra. Thank you. That's very kind. Want to go between my jaws again? Quick draw. I remember you, the talker. Do you still want to just talk? Because there is talking, and then there is talking.
No. It's the really wild guys who say they just want to talk. I bet you've got something interesting happening down there. He's one of the really, really Let wild ones. See. Prince Charming really is a boy scout. I'm pleased to meet you, David. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yes, I was um, an astronaut. In France, uh, there are not many rockets, so uh, I started coming instead. <laughs> you asked too many questions, David. Most guys, they pop on. Pop off. Okay, 50. Okay. I was a ballet teacher. So this is where the ballet story comes in, okay. Um, when I was a girl, I was a part of the... And we searched for 50. That's how we got this, right? It's, it's so funny. I wanted to see this. I was going to search for ballet, but... Uh, Paris, Opera there we ballet. go. I was a um, sugar plum in a Nutcracker and a Lilac Fairy in Sleeping Beauty. I was a good dancer, not good enough. I knew it would not be my vocation, so I uh, tried to become a teacher. Tip me again, and I tell you about the time the Bolshoi Ballet visit, and I finger bang the prima ballerina playing Giselle just to get inside her head, like you are trying to get in mine. Oh, wait. Oh, just ended all of a sudden. Okay. Okay. Uh, going back. Where were we? Uh, Harry. Okay. There was one more video to watch. Oh, here's a story about Harry. I kind of want to see this again. This guy Harry ran in, pulled pills out the back. Well, oh, he disappeared, and you know, after a while, the cops shut it down. So I moved in with these friends of mine who I met at the. Uh... Okay. So. He wasn't involved with the movies, I guess. Uh, okay, let's see this one. When is this again? Six, uh, 11.07. This must be when he's talking to Harry. Uh... Hold on. Eleven oh seven, three forty nine p.m. Yeah, this is so this is when he's talking to Harry before. Come on. My friend. Yes, I'm having a big holiday party and I need some fireworks. Okay, enough to wow people. All right. Come on, Harry. Yeah, Harry, nothing is gonna link back to you, okay? Hey, listen to me. You just make sure you guys leave it in the dead drop like I told you, okay? Wait, you you trust me, right, Harry? You do trust me? Yeah, look at me. Look at me and tell me. Good. That's good. That's good. So what I really want to find is the point where Maxine shuts down, like decides that wants to ban. I, know, I told you I'd take she care wants to ban things, David. Okay? Yeah. Maybe I look up ban. Me too. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Fuck. Jesus, your fucking cat. Oh. Oh, that's funny. Let's get you out of the way. <laughs> so 
So she said your fucking cat. So she's not actually at her place. We don't have time for this. Whoa, let's search for that. Animal logic. I just got an achievement called animal logic. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Damn, what was I going to? I was going to look at ban, right? 423, 2018. This might be it. I feel like we've gotten quite a bit of the conversations between David and Maxine so far, but who knows? I'm so excited to come see you all tonight. <clears throat> so she's not you know when you've had a hard day. She's not doing her French thing. And you want to work out some kinks. Just let off steam with some like-minded freaks. Yeah, you get me. Easy, easy, 93. Hey, Davey. Just so you know, this week it's all voyeur chat, so others can watch if they pay. Okay, okay, I'll turn it off, but you have to understand it's just for you. Okay. Uh, achievement unlocked nocturnal animals. Hmm. Maybe we're at 3 a.m. <sighs> Sounds pretty messed up. But things have a way of working out. Mm-hmm. Might be talking about what happened during the case. Well, if half the stuff that you told me is true, then I don't know you have this coming. Who am I? You don't know anything about me. Mm -hmm. I said something who are, like, who are you to judge me, maybe? This is, this is it. This is where she... France. Yeah, for a smart guy, you're very stupid. I'm sorry, I, I, I really, I don't want to listen to this anymore. Do you see this thing here? That thing protects me. It doesn't protect you. So with one click, I can ban you from my channel and you're out of my life. Click. So was that, was that click her banning him? Is this where she gets, this is where he gets banned? Okay, um, I can look up France, I guess. Is there something else to see? No, France. Nine oh seven p.m. Four twenty-three. Okay, that's the other side. Perfect. Now, this might actually let us search what happened to him in the case. The mission, the operation. Because I think he's telling her he's at the apartment still.
he has no one else to talk to. Like, he should be... He can't talk to Ava, right? Because she's... part of it. Part of the operation. And he probably can't talk to Emma about it because... it involves Ava. Yeah. Boyer chat? No, no, I do not want that. I do not want that, okay? No, no, just turn it off. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just, everything's really screwed up right now, okay? My girlfriend's pregnant and, I, and, I, and I'm gonna have to leave her and my wife, she's gonna leave me when I go home. I know it, I'm getting fucked right now. And I just need you, okay? Okay, maybe not then. Oh yeah? Oh, I had a, I had a new work out. What? <laughs> what? The f Who? <laughs> Who are you to judge me? Called it. Hmm? Yeah. I know you like the grammatics. Mm -hmm. I know your favorite food is rare steak, but it has to be cooked in butter. You're a good listener, except when you're stoned. Your family is from France. Your favorite movie is Lady Eve. You do yoga on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and you want to run a marathon. I'd even told you I would run one with you. Hmm? So there we go. If we want all the conversations, we can look up that stuff. Well, guess what? Too bad, I just paid for more time. Hmm. Bitch. So, my question is, is there a video between this one and when she reveals like that she doesn't live in uh, New York? Six matches for France. Okay, let's go back. Ben, we had watched all those. Hmm. I want to find out more. I want to. I want to find something juicy before we stop. Uh. Extortion? Extort? No. Uh, files? Oh. Jason Bourne, what? Hey, honey. Is that a crime? Jason Bourne never had to file reports. And believe me, if this job ever gets exciting, then something's gone terribly wrong. I wonder if he's talking to Karen here. So I can look up... Jason Bourne, maybe? Anesthesiologists are attractive and charming. Oh, there we go. Anesthesi <laughs> Anesthesiologists, if I can pronounce that properly. That should bring up the other side of this What's conversation. But it's, I'm pretty sure it's Karen. Because I want to hear how you say it. Oh, or maybe it's, maybe it is Emma.
Don't make fun. Stop it. Don't stop. You're turning me on. No way, not unless you give me something in return. Yeah, because those college town tramps, they are shameless, let me tell you. Or is this the other side of the conversation we saw earlier with uh, Emma? <laughs> mm, you talk a good game online. Uh, I gotta go. <clears throat> what about her? Okay, hold on, let's go back. Pretty sure we haven't seen the other side of this. Physiologist. Cheerful. Well, I just think you should pretend it's no fun playing Jason Bourne. Or we could have gone with Jason Bourne. At some point, we're going to dig into Emma's life, but we're getting a little snapshots. That's not what they told me in my psych interview. They said that even the most basic undercover work was a big adrenaline rush, and that loving and supportive partners like me should be aware of that and help you adjust. My job got a lot more interesting today, thanks for asking. The new anesthesiologist asked me out to dinner. And we both have jobs where we can't wear our wedding rings to work. Professional hazard. I will tell you, he is very attractive and very charming. And I turned him down, of course. Just little does she know? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, also, they tend to be sort of unhinged. What does it matter what his name is? Steven. Steven. Oh, Steven. Look, he puts people to sleep for a living. He's not a brave law enforcer like you. Oh, you're a samurai. You're a warrior knight. <laughs> Prove it. I wanna take a look at what those college town tramps are being denied. Oh, if you so much as look at one of them, I'll come over there and bite your service pistol off with my own teeth. Yeah, well, I am the man of the house now. <laughs> oh, no, wait, I wanted to tell you about Mama. Oh, she's coming for a visit tomorrow. Man, what do I look up now? I guess we have a couple other ones for anesthesiologists. I don't think I want to look at those ones yet, though. Maybe I should, though. Maybe we're going to discover something interesting. Yeah. I can't sleep. She probably would have found out that her mother's sick, right? At this point. Well, don't let me stop you. But can I tell you about how hard my life is right now? I 
It's not just her drinking. Mama's acting crazy. Not her usual crap. She's just getting confused. Look, I, I talked to Stephen about it and you know, the anesthesiologist. And he said that I might need to take her to see somebody because at her age, it could be dementia. Oh, God. It's my but she hates hospitals. Freaking you know? worst nightmare. She's convinced that the doctors had it in for Papa, and that's why... He... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just blowing it all out of proportion. But... Would have been worse than dementia, though, right? Because she passes away. Look, I'm telling you, she won't go. David, she's a grown woman. I'm not going to trick her into going to the doctor. Yeah, and Alba is so happy to have her Mima here. And I guess if she really is sick, then it's better that she's here instead of on her own in Texas. You know? Screw you. You don't get to be jealous. Whoa. David probably doesn't... I mean, he's... kind of an asshole. He probably doesn't really... He probably doesn't want to have to deal with all this, right? Like, he... He doesn't seem to have a ton of empathy. <laughs> he probably... That's probably another reason why he's, like, drawn to Ava and Maxine, because... It's not like home life is a problem for him uh, because her mother's there and her mother is sick. Doesn't know how to deal with it. Not that it's an excuse, but it's just knowing, getting to know how David is. That would explain a little bit more of why he's acting that way. Why he doesn't want the case to end. Why he doesn't want to go back to his family. You know. It's probably after the funeral, after the death. Uh... Okay, maybe we don't have to watch this part. Oh, he's reading a story. Can you tell me a bedtime story? Dada. I can't sleep. I just can't. Mama bought me a nightlight, but I don't like it. Because it's pink. Since today. Can you tell me a bedtime story? Okay, I'm gonna, I don't think we need to watch her listening to the story. Let's just, let's just see this part. Oh, Jesus. David. This scared me. Well, that's sweet. She's dressed up. She's crying? Sure. You know, they don't pay anesthesiologists the big bucks to put people to sleep. Wait a second. It's because they can wake them up again afterwards. I just broke things off with him because I felt bad lying to him. 
screwing him. That felt like breaking a spell. David, why don't you just tell me what you've been doing over there? You're lying. You're a professional liar. It's literally your job. Yeah, and they trained you how to lie. Make me. God damn it. Jeez. So she had, she slept with Steven, I think his name was, the anesthesiologist. Interesting. All right. Well, this seems like a good time to take a break, everybody. I can't, it's really hard to stop playing this. It's very addicting. You just want to see like one more, one more clip, one more thing. But I'm going to take a break here, everybody. This has been, it was a short one last time, but it's an extra long one this time. This is Luckless Lovelock signing off for now. I'll see you on the next one. And I love you all.